Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the first episode of the platform series where I show you how to create 2D games in UE5. I'm going to be splitting these video up into smaller segments so people can search for what topic they need and have the video ready to watch without skipping around too much. Without further ado, let's get into it. First thing you're going to do here is go to games and today we're just going to open up a blink template and i'm just going to click on blueprint target platform desktop quality preset i like to put it on scalable starter content off ray tracing off we don't need that for 2d games project name name it whatever you want platformer tech perfect so just create and then wait for it to boot up so first thing you want to do you want to go to edits plugins and you want to make sure Paper ZD or Paper 2D and Paper ZD are active because we are going to be using Paper ZD and it's just going to restart real quick. You see both are here, ready to go. Perfect, that's all you need. And then what you could do next is just go to Edit, Project Settings. You can go to File, New Level, Create basic level. Sweet. And then once you do that, go ahead and save current level. I'm going to name it former main. You can name it whatever you like. But yep, so you have it here. And I'm going to go ahead and create a folder. I'm going to call it levels. I'm actually going to put this in there. Cool. And what you could do, a little quick tip, is right click, set color. And I like to make it this roughly the same color as what the icons are so maybe like a little bit on the orange yellow orange and so i know without reading that this is levels and what you could do next is do new folder blueprints right click set color new color and i just like making these blue one more thing new folder art we're going to create the art folder Starting off, we're just going to set up the project settings here. So go ahead and go to edit at the top. Go to project settings. So go to auto exposure. Make sure this is off. Otherwise, when you play your level, you can see that the sun slowly gets brighter. And we don't want that for pixel art games since we aren't using um, advanced shadows and exposure settings so just make sure that's off go to anti-aliasing and you can either switch between fxaa or taa you can kind of play around with it see what looks best i'm still looking for which looks best i'm just going to keep it on fxaa for now next thing you could do is motion blur you want to make sure this is off since it's pixel art and it's pixels you don't want any sort of blur happening, otherwise it'll look bad. Sweet. So now we're gonna create our, our main character. So right click, blueprint class, drop down all classes, type in paper ZD. You'll see paper ZD character. It's gonna be under the object tree. So go ahead and click that and push select. I'm gonna name this BP player just to keep it nice and simple and clear and then we're gonna open it up all right so now we're going to import spray sheets we're gonna click the first one and then we're going to shift click at them all right click go to sprite actions apply paper 2d texture settings and what that does is that it, it really it doesn't have the the blur anti-aliasing filter on it it will make every pixel look clear. So let's just go ahead and start with character idle. Let's do sprite actions, extract sprites. There's two ways you could do this. One, you can get the original format. So here it's 48 by 48 dimensions. So you can either go here, but if you don't know right off the top of your head, another thing you could do is just count how many frames you see. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 10. Sprite extract method, change from auto to grid. 
cell width divided by 10. And that makes each sprite, each frame equal distance from each other. So it looks nice. Sweet. So what we're going to do next is going to right click asset actions, bulk edit via property matrix. And then we're going to create the pivot mode, change it from center center to bottom center. And then control S save. When the stars go away, that means that you say properly. Another thing you could do is shift click and then control S that, or you could do file, save all. So click the first sprite, shift click the last sprite. So all of these are selected in the idle animation, right click, go to create flipbook. And I, for naming conventions, I used to, I like to call it FB underscore player idle R for idle right since he's facing right. Sweet. So we have here. Perfect. And we can change the frames per second. Um, I'm going to try 12. You can play around with whatever you want. So like if you want it one frame per second, it's obviously going to be super slow. If you want 20 frames per second, it's super fast. 50, super, super quick. One thing you can also do is you can open up the keyframes, go to whatever frame you want. So let's just say when he's tall, you want him to stay like that for a little bit longer. And what you could do, you want, I want to look for... Perfect. So let's just say you want him to stand up for a certain duration before he sits back down again. Instead of taking the time and drawing it, what you could do is create the frame run and make it 10. So 10 frames pass and of him standing and then he crouches. 10 crouches. And that's really, really cool. You could do it with anything. Um, you just can't go below one. You can't make it like 0.5. It doesn't let you. I am actually going to create a separate folder for sprites. And I'm going to move it here. And I'm actually going to move the sprite folder under art. Move here. And then I'm going to create the color light blue. This is just an organization thing. You do not have to do this. I just like to keep things separate. So sprite sheets are going to be the textures. Sprites are going to be the sprites. You can even put it within this folder. It's up to you. Let's just, before we get to the blueprints, let's just create the walk run cycle. Perfect. Yeah. So you can, you can search run. But yeah, go ahead and right click, sprite actions, extract sprites again, go to auto, grid, change it to grid. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight frames. So you want to do cell width divided by eight. So it's split up into eight sections equally, 48 by 48. If you know the dimensions off the top of your head, push extract. Next, you want to do the same thing, asset actions, bulk edit via property matrix, change the pivot mode, bottom center. You can also extract everything and do it all at once. That's usually what I do, but for this example, I'm just going to do it this way. But all right, I'm just going to grab everything while it's selected and move it to the sprites folder right over here. Move here. Perfect. So we have the walk and the run cycle. Start from the end of the run cycle and find the first run cycle. Right click, create flipbook. FB for flipbook, player, idle, or sorry, player, run, right. There he is. Look at him, speed running. So I'm gonna match the frames actually you don't necessarily need to do this, but I'm just going to match it at 12. Keeps things nice and tidy and looking good. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and close out of these. Cool. There you go, you got two flipbooks. So I'm going to create one more folder. Flipbooks. 
and I'm going to set the color to green. And then I'm going to grab these two flip books that we made. These are the animations. Drag them in, move here, drop the flip flip books into art. Boom. Now everything's in their separate thing. But yeah, all right. So let's create. Where did my skylight go? There it is. Nice. So one thing you could do in Unreal Engine actually is go to the directional light and you can rotate it. Make a sunset. Just a little something I like to do. Looks really pretty. That or you can rotate it to the other side. There you go. It's just a nice aesthetic, you know? That is all for part one. Just super simple. Part two will come up here pretty soon. Thank you for watching.